Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding an equation of a horizontal, vertical or simple diagonal line. So we have these different lines plotted on an x-y axis and we want to find the equation of each. And what it means to find the equation of a line is to find some rule which each point on that line will obey. So let's look at A first and let's see if we can find something in common to all of the points on this particular line. So let's look at some different points on A. We take this point here, we can see that's 2, 6. If we look at another point on A, let's take this point here, we've got 2, 1. And let's take another point, 2, minus 1. Now, can you notice anything that these three points have in common? Well, can you see, look, the x value, the first value is the x value, the second value is the y value. The x value is always 2. And therefore, we can write a rule for this line is to say that, well, x equals 2. If I'm a point on this particular line, I have to obey this particular equation here. And this equation says that the x value has to be equal to 2. So in general, if you have a vertical line, then your equation will be in the form x equals something. And what that number is, is wherever that line cuts on the x-axis. So can you see? This line cuts the x-axis at 2, so therefore the equation will be x equals 2. And it's very similar for b. Can you see the b line cuts the y-axis at 3? So the equation will be y equals 3. And again, this is a rule that has to be true for any point on that line. If we take any point on B, wherever we look, the Y value will always be 3. If we take this point here, that's 4, 3, the Y value is 3. If we take this point, 0, 3, the Y value is 3. Now, C and D are a bit more complicated. Let's look at some points on this line. Let's take this point here. This is the point 1, 1. So let me just write these here, 1, 1. Let's take another point on C. We've got this point here, which is 4, 4. Now, what do you notice about any point on this line? Well, the x value is not the same. The y value is not going to be the same. But can you see that the y value is the same as the x value? Here again, look, the y value of 4 is the same as the x value of 4. So we can write this equation as y equals x, because the y value is the same as the x value. If you're wondering, can we write x equals y? Yeah, that's also a correct answer because the x value is the same as the y value. And the very final one, D, this line here, let's look at some points on this line. If we take this point here on the line, well that's 3 minus 3, so let's write that here. Let's take another point, um, we've got minus 1, 1, for example is a point on this line, minus 1, 1. Let's take another point, uh, we've got 2 minus 2 here, 2 minus 2. Now, what's the relationship between x and y here? Well, can you see that the y value is negative whatever the x value is? So if the x value was 3, then the y value would be minus 3. And the same here. If the x value is minus 1, y will be negative of that. So minus minus 1 is positive 1. The two minuses cancel. And the same here. If the x value is 2, if we do minus that, we get negative 2. So the y value seems to be minus whatever the x value is. So that's the equation of this other line. So just to summarise these diagonal ones, if you have a line like that, it has the equation y equals x. And if you have a line, diagonal line like that, uh, going down at sort of like 45 degrees, that's going to be y equals 2 minus x.